are going to turn now to those calls for surveillance cameras in Brooklyn. And they come after the horrific death of eight-year-old Libby Kletsky, who was kidnapped off a street in Borough Park and killed last year by Levy Aaron. And tonight, residents are wondering why those cameras still are not up. Political reporter Dave Evans is in Borough Park tonight with much more on the story. David. Liz, this afternoon, the police commissioner said police need to see this video from these cameras as soon as possible. And he said police need to see this video before anyone else. The cameras, they are still not up, and this community is still waiting. In Borough Park, surprisingly, there are not a lot of security cameras. State Assemblyman Dove Hyken wants to change that by putting up 150 cameras at a cost of a million dollars to the state. The deal is called the Libby Kletsky Security Initiative. Named after the Borough Park boy who was kidnapped and gruesomely murdered last year. Levy Aaron recently pleaded guilty and is now serving a sentence of 40 years to life. This neighborhood is still waiting for those cameras. That press process is moving ahead slowly but surely. If I was giving uh, the community a million dollars, uh, they'd be able to start moving tomorrow morning. But with the state, it always takes time. What could be contributing to the delay? Who will get to review video recorded in those cameras? There is a culture in the community of creating a buffer between the community and the police. This reporter's covered Borough Park's tightly closed religious community, where some don't trust police and prosecutors when it comes to investigating accusations of sex abuse. Community members are instructed to go to their rabbis before going to secular authorities with reports of sexual abuse so that the rabbis can evaluate these, these claims. That controversy has led some to question whether rabbis or other community leaders might review security video before police. No, absolutely not. And I don't know where that some of this stuff came from. It's just not correct. Hyken says police absolutely will get security video first. This afternoon, the police commissioner said they better. Well, if it's public funds, I think it's unwise to have any sort of filter before it goes to the, the police or any judgments made. Obviously, if there's a crime is alleged, we want to see it as quickly as possible. Well, the Hasidic organization that's going to be putting up those cameras will then be reimbursed by the state. Again, the contract is for about a million dollars. Assemblyman Hyken says he hopes that can be done in the next two or three months. Reporting live now in Borough Park, Dave Evans, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Dave.